and welcome to another YouTube exclusive. As always, I'm Emporium. Today we're back playing The Vagrant. Uh, this time showing off all the uh, bad endings. Because, um, you know, some people don't have time to get those achievements and get all those bad endings. So, here I am to fill a minor void. And with that said, let's kick it off. Uh, I'm going to use this save file. Uh, just to make things a bit easier, uh, in a sense. Uh, where the devil am I? Alright, so here we have our first, uh, air we're just about to enter the first fight where you can get a bad ending. So let's enter over into our first cutscene. Now here you're normally supposed to lose this fight, but what we're going to do is actually win it. Now it actually will take a while. One off which will take a while and even though she's not doing a lot of damage and you'd think on very hard she'd do a bit more but that's not the case here Gotten her down to the second form. Mm -hmm. 
Because these zombies don't really die either. Our last health bar. These zombies are getting a bit out of hand here. So apparently just go straight through that attack. This sequence to be done again. For that. Wait for that. Get hit by that apparently. And that's her taken care of. Ah, oh, what it was that? Actually, I won't read it out loud this, uh, for this. So yeah, it looks like the, what w had taken over Soul Reaver, uh, Reaper, aka your sister Valerie, is now going to take you over. In some sort of sexy, deadly embrace. And now you are Soul Reaper, uh, and you are murdering your way across the land. And then you build a ship of corpses and murder your way across other lands. Alright, so here we are at the second location for our a, uh, Bad Endings run. Uh, we have Mark. A.K.A. Kuma Smith. Uh, he's become a berserk bear. Um, the good thing is that unlike the first bad ending that you can get, the rest of these you have to die to, which isn't too difficult. But um, even on very hard, it does sort of take a while to get them to uh, beat you down. I suppose what I could do is equip a bad armor, like the lever armor here. Should take a few bit more damn. Oh, we still took only a tiny amount. That's annoying. I try not dodging his attacks. Come on, hit me. Hit me. You big furry git. Turn around. You're in the corner. Or sit on me, that's that's cool too, that's doing damage. That's... No, he's all tuckered out. Gotta wait for him to get his uh, energy back up. 
Thank you. Just keep sitting on me. Or jumping and sitting on me. Whatever you want. That's better. Keep... And we're dead. And now the big bear is going to go on a rampage around the city because we failed to murder a bear. Or I should say the spirit of Kuma Smith. I mean, it looks like a bear. It sits like a bear. Therefore, bear spirit. Anyway. Since you failed to kill the Kuma Smith, uh, it is now wandering the forest, murdering people with a vengeance. Game over, man. Game over. And we are back from a jump cut. Uh, we are now at the third boss where you can get a bad ending, which is Santiago. So if you die to this boss, you basically become his lover, sex slave. Not entirely sure, but uh, we'll let the uh, game over sequence play out once we let him defeat us. Uh, the only real question is whether... Actually, no. I was going to say whether it's quicker to defeat these guys and let his second form kill me or not. But I think it's pretty straightforward to let him just beat us this way. Because he has all these hench flunkies. And he summons a bunch of dudes. And he has the laser show of death. Which is always fun. Even when you're not going for the bad ending, the laser the laser show of death just does a lot of damage. Can you give us another And there we go. Simple as that. Probably the easiest one to die to. Anyway. Yeah yeah, says I'm beautiful. And now you're trapped in a cage. One of his, I suppose, many brides. Game over. Hello, me again. Here for another part of our game over. Um, here, we have to lose to uh, the Soul Reaper this time, as opposed to beating it in the start of this sort of run, if you will. Uh, not a particularly difficult task, but ideally you want to get it down to her second form because the first forms are a little sluggish. Oh, where'd she go? May as well take a bit of damage from her now. But as you can see, it doesn't do a lot of damage and is a little on the sluggish side, even though as I've said that. Actually, you know what, let's just let her kick her ass at this point in time. Because it seems like she's actually doing a fairly good job without being in her second form. Hey! 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 Hit me! Hit me! Hit me! Quit running away! Fine. You want to be a pain about it? I'll make you attack me. Come on. Do the job. Lazy, lazy soul reaper. There we go. So the funny thing is, how this all plays out, even though this is a bad ending, this pretty much plays out exactly um, as it does if you were to actually win that fight. I mean, obviously you're alive in that, whereas here you're dead. So uh, Camden will look horrified as he's performing the ritual. And he has uh, seen his precious uh, master become a demon.
And Vivian is so horrified that she dies. Game over. Alright. We'll jump cut once more to the final uh, bad ending. Alright, we're back. And we're up to the final of the bad endings, and probably my favourite, which is the Fungi Princes. Uh, incidentally, it probably will be the easiest one to lose to as well, especially if I do this. It doesn't matter what else I equip. Let's just, you know, let's make it that one. Uh, actually, may as well put on some not so good armor. Um, and here we go. Just gotta wait for him to defeat me. Which could actually take a while. But uh, the poison gas should finish me off pretty quickly. There we go. Also, incidentally, the easiest one to get. Why is this thing so powerful? Because uh, they're big ass fungi, that's why. And then you just get devoured by a mushroom and you make them sentient and powerful. Uh, apparently to the point where all the mushrooms gain sentience, not just the ones that ate you, because you know, I guess that's how superpowers work. Uh, and yeah, they replaced humanity. And uh, that's that's all the bad endings. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, if you want to see more content, as always, like, share, comment, subscribe, anything else you want to do with the video. I, I mean, I can't imagine there being much else you can do apart from those things, and watching it. You could hit the dislike button if you really must, notification bell, you name it, YouTube's got it all. Until next time, Take care.